in this lesson we'll learn how to deal with decimals so uh, we'll learn here how to convert from fraction to decimal we'll learn how to um, do addition subtraction multiplication and division of decimal so let's get it started the first thing we'll learn how to convert from fraction to a decimal so let me write down the problem so say like 3 over 5 how to make this fraction into a decimal so let's write that down so anytime you want to divide a fraction the top number go always inside the box right so put a decimal get a zero how many times 5 goes into 30 is 6 times is 30 right um, let's go next one so another problem is 1 over 8 make into a decimal so 8 into 1 so what you could do first put a decimal get a 0 how many times 8 goes into 10 1 times is 8 and then subtract it you get 2 because of this decimal you could get another 0 how many times 8 goes into 20 is twice so 8 times 2 is 16 subtract it you have 4 because of this decimal you could get another 0 um, 8 goes into 20 sorry 8 goes into 40 is 5 times so 5 times 8 is 40 so the answer is 0 0.125 let's do another one 1 over 20 so let's divide same way 20 into 1 right so as usual you cannot divide 1 by 20 put a decimal get a 0 but you still cannot divide a 10 by 20 so what you could do you need to put a 0 in the top first then you could bring another 0 now you could say you could divide 100 by 20 so how many times 20 goes into 100 is 5 times 100 let's do another problem 45 divided by 10 so 10 into 45 so how many times 10 goes into 45 is 4 times so 4 times 10 is 40 subtract it you get 5 right so now you could put a decimal again here so and then bring this zero down how many times 10 goes into 50 is 5 times so 5 times 10 is 50 make sense great so now let's go and put some uh, practice problem that you could try by yourself um, to make sure that you understand the concept so I'm gonna write four different problems so you do by yourself and uh, check with the answer so I have 4 over 5 the answer will be 0 0.8 number 2 I have 3 over 8 the answer will be 0 0.375 number 3 I have is 1 over 25 so that the answer will be 0 0.04 and the last one I have here is um, 79 over 20. So that will give you 3.95. Uh, make sure that you understand. And if you don't understand, uh, look the example again and try. Let's go next. In this section, we'll learn how to add decimals. So let me write a very simple problem um 13.59 plus 7.02 plus 8.375 let's do it so if you want to add decimals make sure that you line up the decimal that is very important if you don't line up will get wrong so let me write that down 
thirteen point five nine seven point zero two and then eight point three seven five and you see this is the last one has three digit but rest of them are two so you could fill out with zeros if you want this right you see now the decimal is kind of line up and digits are also line up so if we add them you have um five seven plus two is nine plus nine is eighteen eight carry one five plus three is eight plus one is nine and then if you add them eight plus seven is fifteen plus three is eighteen eight carry one one plus one is two so that is twenty eight point nine eight five let's do another problem this is number one let's do number two here so um three hundred fifteen point seventy nine plus 120 plus 0 0.752 do the same way make sure that you line up the decimal so 315.79 and then 120 there is nothing uh, after the uh, zero so you could put a decimal and then put two zeros the same thing it doesn't change anything all right so the last one you have like 0 0.752 so you could just fill out with zeros if you don't do it it is still fine so if you add them up so you have 2 9 plus 5 is 14 4 carry 1 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15 5 carry 1 5 plus 1 is 6 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4. So that's how, how to add um, decimals. Okay. So let's go and uh, do some um, um, practice problems. So you could try by yourself. Make sure that you understand. So I'm writing, I'm going to write two problems here. So number one, that will be 8, 9, 3, plus 2, 31.2. 79 plus 8.37 okay so you try by yourself and the second one I'll um, I'll write so that is 0 0.005 plus 7.29 eight one three right so let's try by yourself the next thing we we'll learn how to subtract decimal so keep that in mind always if you want to subtract the top number will be the bigger one right so let me write that down so you have seven point eight nine minus 3.25 let's subtract it okay so 9 minus 5 is 4 8 minus 2 is 6 3 minus 7 minus 3 is just 4 right okay so let me give you another problem this is one let me give you next one is 7 8 9 point 89 minus 79.35 let's subtract it so 9 minus 5 is 4 8 minus 3 is 5 9 minus 9 is 0 8 minus 7 is 1 this is 7 right um, so let's do another problem um, I have here seven zero zero two five minus two thirty nine point fifty, right? So you could, if you don't have any decimal um, 
after the decimal no digits so you could put two zeros here easily to make it easier right so you can subtract now so zero you cannot subtract five from zero so that become ten and that become four so ten minus five is just five now you cannot subtract nine from four so that become fourteen that become one so now fourteen minus nine is five right so now you cannot subtract three from one so what you could do so bring one here so that become nine that become nine that become six now 11 minus 3 is 8 9 minus 2 is 7 9 minus 0 is 9 this is 6 so that is 6 9 7 8 5 point 50 so let's do um, some practice problem so you could try by yourself so I have a couple of problem here that I could write number one I have here is um, 7 9 minus 54.07 so you could try by yourself so I have another one here which is um, 7 57.39 minus 57.31 I have last one number three I have 8,000 minus 23.79 so you could try that so let me write down all this answer to make sure that you get it number one you should get 24.93 number two you should get uh, seven zero zero point one eight and number three would be um seven nine seven point no seven nine seven nine seven six point twenty one all right so try by yourself the next thing we'll learn how to multiply decimals so let me give you a basic problem again here number one is 3.25 multiplied by 8 so here something is very important so when you multiply decimals let's forget about decimal first of all so what do you have now 325 multiplied by 8 so let's do that so if you multiply 8 times 5 is 4 is 0, carry 4, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 plus 4 is uh, 20, 0, carry 2, 3 times 8 is 24 plus 2 is 26. Now, you see after the decimal how many digits you have in total, you have 1, 2, so you need to move 2 decimal places from right to the left, so here, so the answer is this. number two so let me write that down um, 3.05 times point zero zero five two do the same way three or five times fifty two okay so let's multiply so 5 times ten, 2 is 10, 0, carry 1, 2 times 0 plus 1 is 1, 3 times 2 is 6, put a 0 here, 5 times 5 is 25, 5, carry 2, 5 times 0, 0 plus 2 is 2, 5 times 3 is 15. So if we add them, you will get 0, 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, this is 5, this is 1, right? So you get 15860. Now, you see after the decimal how many digits we have now? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you need to move 6 decimal places from right 
to the left so one two three four five six so you need to put it here so that is the correct answer okay hope you understand it so go to the next thing i'll give you a few problems so you could try by yourself so the first thing i'm gonna write is number one is seven point 95 times 5. Number 2, I have here um, 7.09 times 0 0.019. Now try by yourself. So let me write down the answer here. Is number 1, you will get 39.75 Number two will get um, 0 0.13471. All right, very good. Go to the next topic. So in this section, we'll learn how to divide decimals. So let's start with a very simple problem. Say like you are dividing a five with 37.5 right so 5 goes into um, 37 is 7 times so 7 times 5 is 35 subtracted you get 2 now we need to move the decimal on the top bring this 5 down so 5 goes into 25 is 5 times so 5 times 5 is just 25 number 1 Number two, do the similar thing. So say like you have 0 0.5 with um, 8.5. Okay. So if you want to divide a number by decimal, try to get rid of the decimal from outside of the box. So how you could do that? You could move one decimal place. You have to do the same thing inside. So what do you have now? Now we have 85 with 5, right? So 5 how many times? 5 goes into 8 one times is 5, right? Subtract it, you get 3. Bring this uh, 5 down. 5 goes into 35 is 7, is 35. So the decimals are gone. So you don't need to worry about decimal anymore. The answer is just 17. Let's go another one. So I have here 1.2, you are dividing with um, 3.66, right? So that do, try to do the same way, move one decimal, move one decimal, right? So if you do that, so that will become 12 into 3, 6.6, .6, right? So now, how many times 12 goes into 36? Just three times. Right, so 3 times 12 is 36, right? So now, bring this 6 down, right? So you need to move the decimal first. So move the decimal at the top, bring the 6 down. Can you divide 6 by 12 now? No, you cannot do that. So what you could do, you need to put a 0 on the top, bring then, you could bring another 0 in the bottom, right? Now you could divide how many times 5 goes into 60? Sorry, 12 goes into 60, 5 times. So 5 times 12 is 60, right? That's it. So let me give you a few problem that you could try by yourself. So the first thing I'm going to give you here is um, 7 with 34.3. The answer will be 4.9. Number two, three point five with forty five point fifteen. The answer will be twelve point nine. Number three will be uh, zero point zero zero three with um, zero point zero two five five, and the answer will be eight point five. Okay, so try by yourself, 
if you don't know how to get it so um, watch the previous example and hope you'll get it okay